Hey everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Okay, so I know that it's been quite a while since I did a video. In fact, over 180 days. Several reasons for that. Only going to cover a couple of those. Uh, I had lost my editing program for my photos and for my videos. And so it just made doing this uh, such a task, such a chore, and I just didn't really have any enjoyment in it. So I got frustrated. Um, that's probably the biggest reason why I haven't done a video. But I also had another frustration and it was this. If you guys remember, I was building this F4, I was building it as a Blue Angels airplane. And boy, let me tell you, this thing really got frustrating. Um, so I had a big issue with paint. Um, and that's this Blue Angels blue spray paint. And uh, let me see if I can find it. That's not it. Anyway, it's a jar of blue spray paint. But I, what I had in stock, um, my spray paint, it wouldn't spray. So um, I tried to buy some more and I couldn't find it. Um, my blue jar of spray or uh, paint, and it's similar to this one, it's not this one, but very similar. Um, I couldn't get the cap off of it and so I took it to work and I was trying to you know put it in a vice it's, it's a round jar so you can't really hold on to it or anything I'm um, trying to get the cap off of it and I broke the jar of course I got blue paint all over me ruined a set of pants and just anyway I was like you know what I'm tired of this I'm done with it and, and I'm just gonna put this thing on the back burner so um, that's what I did for a little while but Persistence uh, has finally paid off. So, as you guys can see, man, I maybe should have cleaned up before I shot my video, but as y'all can see, I got stuff everywhere. Um, I got it done. So, uh, I'm real happy about it. And uh, even though I had problems with the paint, um, I tried to use a different kind of paint. Uh, it was a Ford blue color and I, I documented this in the, in one of the other videos on this build uh, That paint didn't turn out well it uh, fish-eyed and bubbled and uh, You just can't take one of these airplane models and dunk it in Purple power and for model builders, you know exactly what I'm talking about Because the airplanes already kind of put together you you can't you know take the cockpit out of it and everything else So you can't dunk one of these to remove the paint so, um, again, another frustration. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this. So I let it sit for a little bit, little bit and I uh, actually tried to sand it down and get as much of the old paint off as I could. And one of you guys out there, y'all might know this fella, Mighty JJK. Um, he's a YouTuber. And... He builds models, and I actually got my inspiration for building the Aircraft of the Angels build series from him, because if you'll see right up here on his card, and I'll show you a better picture of it, but up in the corner, you'll see he has all the Blue Angels and all the Thunderbirds, and uh, he's built all of them in 172nd scale. Now, I don't build in 172nd, I build in 148, so I decided I was going to build my own collection, but like I said, um, John was an inspiration to me for even starting this build series. And he's the one that came through for me on this one. Um, he saw my last video where I was really frustrated about how the paint had turned out. And, uh, well, long story short, I got two cans of blue spray paint, which I couldn't find anywhere. They don't sell it anymore. Um, and a can of... The, or not a can, but a jar of the uh, the Blue Angels Blue uh, brush paint. So John sent that to me, and uh, he basically wrote me a really, really awesome note on the back of this, and I'm just going to leave that as that is. 
um, personal between him and I. But thank you so much, John. I actually dedicate this build to you. So thank you, sir. Um, now, let's talk about the airplane for just a minute. 153076. Uh, it started life as an F4J. Um, it's a lead nose F4J. And what I mean by lead nose is the first 18 F4Js that were built um, by McDonnell Douglas didn't have radar in them and they had the F4B, the J79-8 engines in them, where all the other F4Js had the J79-10 uh, engines. So, um, this airplane, uh, it was flown in the blues from 1969, uh, I believe possibly 68 as well, but I can't find very good documentation on that. Um, but definitely the 1969 show season, all the way through 1973, which is the last year that the Blue Angels flew the F-4s. Um, over its life in the Blue Angels, uh, it was number three, it was number six, it was number seven, and that's well documented in photos. And it might have flew a couple other positions, which I'm really not sure. Um, now, I got a lot of help from Richard Kern, and uh, please forgive me if I messed your name up. Um, but he's on Facebook, and he was playing captain in the Blue Angels in 1969 on this very aircraft, 153076. So I actually have talked to him on the phone, and we've traded a couple of emails and everything, and uh, he's given me a lot of really cool information. It was just really neat to kind of get the personal um, stories associated with this airplane. Now, the decal kit set that I have for this was actually from the 1969 show season um i built it a little bit different and uh, what i did was I actually you'll notice that the front two missiles are painted yellow in 69 they were blue so i kind of like the contrast of the yellow versus the the blue under the belly now 69 the aft missiles were yellow so um i don't know two of them were yellow two of them were blue in 69 excuse me in 72 and 73 they were all yellow. So I like the look of the yellow, and since it's gonna sit on my shelf and I gotta look at it, I painted them yellow. So aircraft number six, 1972, I have this photo, and this is where the aircraft was actually uh, departing. Uh, it was an overseas location for a show, um, but uh, as you can see, uh, I, I built it to mimic the paint job on the airplane at the time and it was flown by Lieutenant Jerry Tucker uh, in 1972. But anyway, um, so I figure I'd go ahead and do the final. Let's show some pictures of the airplane. Um. I guess that's about it. I've been rambling. Thanks for watching. It is Labor Day weekend, so for all of you that are in the United States, I'd like to wish you a very happy Labor Day. Hopefully you guys are getting a little bit of relaxation and uh, maybe spending time with friends and family. That would be cool. But until next time, take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye.